Okay, we have two integrals on the spot. The first one is the integral of x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And the second one, yes, that x ran away, right? And in this case, again, the more the better. The first one right here is easier because you can just do it by u sub. Let u equal to the inside, namely 1 minus x squared, and then differentiate both sides, we get du, that's going to be the derivative of this is negative 2x dx, isolating the dx by dividing this on both sides, so we get dx being equal to du over negative 2x. Then we can take the integral to the u world, and we see this is going to be the integral, and the x stays by the square root. This time now, we have just the u inside, so we have the square root of u, and the dx is this, so we can put down du over negative 2x. This is good, right? What's even better is that the x and x cancel each other out. We do have the 1 over negative 2. It's just a constant multiple. So let's take that outside. So this becomes negative 1 over 2, and we have the integral. And when you have the square root, let's look at that as the 1 half power. So we have u to the 1 half power, and then we are in the u world. And to integrate this, we can just use the reverse power rule. Well, we just have to add 1 to this. 1 half plus 1, we get 3 half, and then divide it by the new power. It's the same as multiplied by its reciprocal right here. So we have 2 thirds right here. And then, you see, the 2 and 2 cancel. Very nice. All in all, we will end up with negative 1 over 3. And then, here we have u to the 3 over 2 power. But we know u is equal to that, so let me put down 1 minus x squared, and then I will raise this to the 3 over 2 power, like so. Well, that's it after we put down the plus c. This right here is it. Cool, huh? Well, for the second one, it is trickier. You can do what we call the tricks up, but in this video, I want to demonstrate how to do this with integration by parts. So, here is the deal. I'm going to use the di setup, of course. So let's put down the d and also the i. And let me just tell you, plus or minus, two rows is enough. Well, I'm trying to integrate this. I don't want to put the square root of 1 minus x squared right here. I cannot do that, right? So let me actually differentiate this instead. So let's put down 1 minus x squared in the square root in the d column. And then for the i, I will actually integrate 1. Integrating 1 is just x. Differentiating square root, we get 1 over 2 square root of the inside. And then don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 minus x squared is negative 2x. And you see, the 2 and 2 cancel out. Very nice. Alright, now, this is how we construct the answer. First, we multiply this and that. This is the first part of the answer, and I would like to put down the x first. So here we will have x times the square root of 1 minus x squared, like so. And then remember, when we multiply a row, this right here is still going to be inside of an integral. And I know, negative times negative should give us positive, but let me actually put down the negative right here on purpose, and then let me put down the integral, right? And we have negative x times x. So that's going to be negative x squared, and then divided by the denominator, which is square root of 1 minus x squared, like that. Okay, pretty good, huh? But the problem is that, what do we do with that? It's actually not so bad, because you see that we have negative x squared. That actually kind of match with that, right? Negative x squared. And you just have to think about it. Wouldn't it be nice if right here we actually have 1 minus x squared? Because if that's the case, this and that are the same. And when we reduce this, let me just give you an example real quick. So suppose we have 5 divided by square root of 5. What's the answer for that? Well, you can do whichever way that you want, but let me tell you the answer is actually square root of 5. As long as this and that are the same, you can just get square root of 5. How you can do it is, 
You can look at this as 5 to the first power, look at that as 5 to the one half power, and then just subtract the powers, right? So this is the same as 5, 1 minus 1 half, which is 1 half. And you get the square root of 5. And as long as the inside are the same, so you can have a little happy face if you would like, over a square root of the same happy face. This right here will give you the square root of the happy face. And perhaps the best way to look at this is multiply this on both sides, you get that immediately. So this is actually pretty good. But if I just put on one right here, that will change the whole thing. That's no good. It's okay, we can fix that. As long as we minus one, you see the blue part, one minus one is just zero, so we didn't change anything, right? So that's great. Now let's look at this part only. Let me break this apart. First, let me just look at this as negative, and we have the integral, and here we have the 1 minus x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And we are about to use this idea to help us out. Next, I'm actually going to distribute the negative, negative times negative. So don't forget, this and that matter, right? So we have a positive right here. And then we have 1 over that, and that's still inside of an integral. So all in all, this is the integral 1 over square root 1 minus x squared dx, like that. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so now, what are we doing? Right here, we have actually the integral of the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, and we are saying this is equal to that as the first part. Good, right? Well, what's this? By this idea, the square root of a happy face theorem, right? This right here becomes negative, and we still have the integral, but this over that is just the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And does this look familiar? Yes, because that's exactly what we have on the left hand side. And yes, this is a repeat situation for the DI method, right? Excellent. Well, for this part, do we know the answer for that? Yes, we actually do. This part is just going to be plus the integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared is just the inverse sine x, like so. Very good, right? Okay, so when we have a repeating situation, we are just going to bring this to the other side. And to do that, we will just add the integral of the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, so that this and that will be cancelled, do the same thing right here. Hmm. One integral in black plus another integral in red. Altogether, we have two of the same integral, two integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx, and this is equal to the right hand side. And you see the right hand side does not have integrals anymore, right? So, you know you are on the right track. Okay, we do not like the 2 though. It's alright, because we can just multiply everybody by 1 half. So that this multiply by that is just 1, so we end up with the integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx, and that's equal to, multiply, we get 1 half x square root of 1 minus x squared, and then plus 1 half, inverse sine x, like this. And with all that, we are done after we put down the plus c. Like this, right? So, let me know if you guys like this method or not, or maybe you prefer the so-called trick sub. And as always, that's it.